Hey guys, welcome to Banana Eats. Um, it's a asymmetrical horror game on Roblox, and since I can't record Dead by Daylight, I've decided to record this game instead. Now, the game's quite simple. Um, there's up, anywhere up to like 10 survivors and a banana, which is basically the killer. Each survivor has three health. Whenever they get hit, they lose a health and they gain a little speed boost, um, like in Dead by Daylight. And if you get hit and you're on zero health, obviously you're dead. There's a timer at the top that you can see. Um, when that reaches one minute, the exit gates will open, and the banana will start one-shotting people. Basically, you want to do these tasks, such as uh, this cake that I'm carrying. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, well... Yeah, so this cake, for example, is one of the tasks. There are f five tasks that you can see at the top of the screen. Each of them, when you complete a task, it reduces the time left until, like, one minute. And then if you do a task when the exit gates open, it actually increases the time left because, you know, you don't want to decrease the time because if it gets to zero, then everybody who's still on the map dies, like the endgame collapse in Dead by Daylight. It's quite simple, really. Interesting. So these lockers you can just kind of stand in and hide, and he can't see through the door, so. Works every time. This is one of the puzzles. Um, as you can see, you just literally make the picture by spinning these little squares. Uh, you might notice the light on my back is light and lighted up. Um, that means that the killer's nearby. It would be similar to the heartbeat in Dead by Daylight, except you can't hear it, you can just see it. So I guess more like Dead by Daylight mobile. Um, these uh, little vents, they're basically the active windows, the banana can't fit through them. Um, but you can crouch through them to get away and loop, I guess. Um, the banana also has access to traps that slip you over, like the trapper um, bear traps that they can put in the vents, or anywhere, um, to trip over survivors that try to run past. This hasn't been a very eventful game because uh, the banana hasn't been really <laughs> killing anyone. Okay, so now... Ooh. Oh god. So now that the exit gates are open, the banana's gonna one-shot us if, if he hits us. Um, I was a bit scared there because I thought that he would come out of that locker and, like, insta kill us, but luckily he didn't. Um, so yeah, that was a quick game of banana eats. There are also different game modes, um, which we're voting for here, but I think that escape is just the best one, because otherwise it's two killers or zombies, which don't... are not great. Okay, so, the code is 743. With these valve tasks, you can see the three lights at the top. Um, that means that there are three in the map, and you have to do all three to actually reduce the time on the timer. Um, somebody's already been eaten, which is a great sign. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Oh my god, it's right here. <laughs> there we go. So now we only have 35 seconds until the... Interesting. I probably can't slip past that, can I? No. <laughs> the answer was it. The answer was it. So as you can see, you get kind of tripped over by the bananas, um, and then you glitch out. But he doesn't find you because you're lying on the floor, and your character's really dark in a dark map, so... You know, it works out in the end. <laughs> oh god. That person might be dead. No, they survived. Alright, that was slightly more engaging than the last game, but, um... Oh, and the banana? Okay. So, as the banana, you can put down the traps that I mentioned earlier, that trip over survivors, um, and you just walk into people to, like, attack them, so... You know, it's a Roblox game, it can't be complex. <laughs> But, the best part is when you come into a room like this, you can just attack everyone, because the attack cooldown is placed based on the player, and not the killer. So, you, there's a little notification that you get when someone slips over, so you know to go over there. And that person's already dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're on mobile, you can tell by how slow they're moving. Um, every time someone a survivor dies, the banana gains more time. 
which is why AFK people can be very detrimental. Um, there are also these lockers, which I always forget to check. There they are. Wait, there's so many people in here. Almost got juked. This person's in a really bad position. This is genuinely upsetting. <laughs> no. Wait. <laughs> I saw the cake. I just love standing these lockers on. Hello. Can I get them through? I cannot get them through. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not sure that should have worked. I may have tried. Okay. It would have been funny if the banana could have uh, broken the puzzle. Wait, not hit me. What the? There we go. You can hide behind that? Damn. Oh, that's so sad. They're stuck on the floor. No, they made it out just in time. And so from another banana. <laughs> Unlucky. There are still three survivors though, and the gates are opening in 30 seconds, so I don't really think I stand a good chance of winning this. Mm. Okay, so the banana can also see all the survivors. Um, at the end, like this. Wait. There's no way they make it to the end. Might, that person might actually. No, they won't. <laughs> oh no! So, yeah, it's basically like you always have no end in this game. Um, <laughs> and there we go, I killed all the survivors. Uh, yeah, so that was my first uh, Banana Eats video. Expect more in the future since I can't record Dead by Daylight anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ah.